Okay, there's frost on the ground. You can see your breath. It's later October. That means it's leaf season in our part of the world. Uh, so I thought I'd share six things that we do uh, that help us at this time of year and that I hope will help you. Okay, uh, tip number one. First and foremost, you wanna get the areas that you'll be receiving leaves ready uh, well ahead of time. August, September, uh, this whole field had all kinds of uh, mulch and other material in it, cleared it out without getting into it. Th this arrangement here is for the leaves to show folks where to dump here first, then we'll move the signs and barrels in here, then here, and hopefully in this area, we'll get uh, about 400 to, to 500 uh, truckloads. Okay, uh, this is the other area that we've got for the leaves. This is where the trailers can come up. And I don't know if you can see, but this whole round area where my truck is, uh, this is so they can come up and then turn around here and then back over here and then even down, kind of back down into that lower level behind that, that last blue barrel. And then the processing area is actually on another level below that. Uh, but yeah, this whole area is uh, for the leaves, right? Now, this upper area, these trailers, they won't be able to dump there. They'll dump here, probably I'll have to push it up. Oh yeah, and the uh, barrels that you see here, I've put those because after that there's a, a drop off and I'd hate for a driver to accidentally have a wheel go off there. So that's, uh, again, for safety. Okay, and again, when you're preparing your areas, uh, pay special attention to the surface. If uh, you've got bare ground and they're gonna be going in and out on that, it won't take long at all, especially if there's any rain. Uh, and over the few months, there will be rain. Uh, it'll become soft, it'll become slick, they're gonna get stuck, they're gonna hate that, and they might not come back at all. Good chance they won't. So. Uh, Something like uh, shale, I've got a lot of shale here, that's what I use, compacted shale. Even when it rains, it won't wash and uh, they can get traction. Okay, tip number two, signs. Um, I am not in a big town, but uh, there are a lot of leaves, a lot of leaf trucks and a lot of leaf truck drivers. And uh, some of these drivers each year are new. Uh, some of them are temporary, some are not familiar with your site. So you need to have signs to make it clear, signs that are visible from a truck, even in weather that's not so great, so they know where to go and where to dump uh, and where not to dump. Now, here you see we got trailers going up to one area, trucks going down. They're actually both trucks, just that the trailers are our leaf collection trucks that literally have a trailer on the back. They can't really uh, get in and out of this area well, so we have a different area for them. Number three, uh, in the weeks before the trucks start rolling, bring the city out, bring the drivers out, walk around, have them check out the surface, uh, work over any details you can, especially how the trucks are actually gonna come in and out, how they're gonna turn around, uh, but do that ahead of time. Uh, tip number four is that uh, the leaf crews need to have on-demand access. So if you're like me, uh, you've been robbed maybe, and you don't like to have a bunch of keys floating around. At this time of year, you're going to need to hide a key or give a key to the leaf crews. Um, better yet, if you have a keypad entry, of course, you can uh, give them the code. Okay, uh, tip number six. We talk mainly about where the trucks should go, how to prepare those areas, but equally as important is where they should not go. Okay, when the trucks come in, this whole area on this side, you can see the food scraps drop off area. You probably cannot see the bags to sell. Of course, here we have our product. The leaf truck should not be in this area because the general public is there. You don't want any kind of accidents. 
uh, one year leaf truck actually actually uh, bumped up against that uh, that little shed over there. So uh, for me, I just make sure that the leaf trucks come in where they have to uh, uh, detach their leaf uh, vacuuming unit. They do that over here, that's fine, but they don't park over here. They don't drive over here. And you need to be clear uh, with your uh, city where that needs to be too.